what is up friends how you are doing today today i'm bringing you a, a special video on how to program two buttons to one button on mine for joy okay so i'm going to show you on, on mambo versus copcon you actually need two buttons to work to do the special um you don't need three you actually need two so um so i'm going to show you how to program two buttons to work to one button okay so um, let's go ahead and begin uh, first um, I'm gonna show you how to do it here on the touch controllers and then I'm gonna show you how to do that on on a Bluetooth controller okay first we're gonna do the, the the punches that way you can know exactly how to do it because there's different games that have uh, like a three buttons or two buttons like let's say Ninja Turtles uh, you have the power up to do it with the two buttons. So I'll show you a trick also how to do it with with just one button. That way you can do the power up with just one button using the touch controllers. And then I'll go ahead and work on doing it on the Bluetooth controller for you guys. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go into options. So let me just go ahead and uh, turn it around like this. Options. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into input. We're gonna go into touch controller. We're gonna choose customize layout, which is number two. All right. So this is how it actually looks. You have the here. You have the E F A B C N D, and this is the the joystick. Okay. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up like we have it on Street Fighter or like on the arcades. So we have A, B, C, that will be our punches. The E, F, that will be our kicks, okay? So, um, so here we have the A, we have the B. We have our C, okay. Then we have our D. We have our E. E will be our medium. Okay. There's a reason I place them like this. Okay. Because usually on on Marble or uh, Street Fighter or King of Fighters, I usually don't use the the medium punches or the medium kicks. Okay. So I usually use more the light kick, light punch, strong kick, and strong punch. So um, I set it up like this. That way I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the the B button, which is the medium punch, to be two buttons. So it's gonna be the strong punch and the medium punch at the same time. So whenever you press it, you're able to use a power up. Okay instead of using uh, two buttons or three buttons depending on on the game but on this game Marvel vs. Capcom you actually can use um, two buttons to do the power up okay so um, I set it up over here on the very end that way they I can use the B button as two buttons B and C and be able to do the power up okay so um, so that's how uh, I want the the setup. Let me just uh, fix it a little bit here. Okay. So once everything's set up, if, once everything's set up however you want it, I'm um, just gonna go ahead and press back and you get this menu which it says, do you want to save changes? So let's go ahead and press yes. And there you go. It's already set up and okay. Next, uh, we're gonna go into the game menus. We're gonna press coin and start at the same time. 
Then we're gonna go to the second option, the one that says in this game, input in this game. We're gonna press B. Okay, and we're gonna go all the way down to where it says here, P1 button one and P1 button three, okay? So one, two, and three will be your, um, your punches, okay? All right, so we have button one, that will be your light punch. Button two will be your medium punch. And button three will be your strong punch, okay? So here we're gonna use button three and we're gonna set it up so we can have two buttons on button three. But actually we're gonna use button B as the, as the program button that's gonna be able to program two buttons. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, do that for you real quick. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and press B and that's gonna enter into program mode, okay? So um, we're gonna press exit over here on the top and that's gonna turn into none, meaning there's no value for button three. But we're gonna press it again, we're gonna press B again, and it's gonna enter into program mode. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press B again. Okay, and then you get the Joy 1 BTX, okay? And then we're gonna press B again and enter into program mode. And we're gonna press the C button and there you go and you actually get um you actually get that the one that says um i don't know if you can see it but it's gonna say joy one btx or joy one bta okay so actually um once you press the b button it's gonna act as two buttons okay it's gonna act as b and c at the same time so let's go ahead and try it out and let's go into the game uh, all you have to do is just uh, to exit, just press exit, exit, and it should uh, take you back to the regular game, okay? So right now we're gonna go ahead and press coins, start, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, press, uh, we'll get uh, whichever character, manual, turbo, okay? And right now we're just gonna show you uh, how it works, and this will just be the punch button. So we have the light, we have the strong punch and as you can see I only needed the B button to act as two buttons okay so uh, let me go and try it again so I'm gonna just try the the C button I'm just gonna try the C button it's gonna be our strong punch as you can see everything works it works my my Hadouken and also the the light punch as you can see it works you're doing the Hadouken and now I'm gonna do the the power up right use power up just using one button so let me go ahead and uh, do that for you real quick there we go So let me go ahead and try it again. And one more time to finish it off. There we go. Okay guys, so that's how you do um, two buttons for one button. So B will act as B and C. All right guys, so that's the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. It's real easy. Um, next video I'm gonna do the kicks and then I'll work on doing the Bluetooth controller for you guys okay so thank you guys for watching and